Hi. Hi. How you doing? I hope everybody's okay, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm fucking not. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not. You remember this little fucker? This is what started everything. This, this thing is what started it all. Okay? So we're about to go back to this shit for a second, because I am like, done. I'm done. I'm done, done. And the only way people hear me is, is sometimes through, through this shit, when I start doing this shit right here, like, that's the only time somebody hear me. So hopefully y'all can hear me seriously because I'm at this point where I'm, I've been trying, you know, and I talked to Lois Lane today and Lois Lane knows who she is. And <laughs> there's many angels, many angels. And one is sitting right next to the room. They just made me a drink. Cause they were like, do you need a drink? <laughs> I like one or four, one or fucking four, one or four. Right? Just breathe. <laughs> Just fucking breathe. Because you know, you know what's really sad and you know what's really troubling? It's our world is at a place where no one hears you unless someone is dead, dramatic, or fucking hysterical. And I know Lois Lane, she told me, she said, go do something for yourself, Allison. Go try to make a TikTok video. <laughs> go dance because I tried to go dance. Shit didn't work out. Like, go, go do something. And I'm like, you know, when I say that I actually need a minute to do something, it's because I'm about to lose my shit. It's about to lose my shit. I can keep my shit for a very fucking long time. I usually can compose my shit very fucking well. Very well. But today... It's not the day. <laughs> Whoa, it's not the day. <laughs> it's not the day. My mom is just laying right here. She's literally sitting right here. And she's just like, are you going to calm down? Nope. Nope. Nope, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you know? Because everybody wants to see what's behind the camera. <laughs> okay 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 you know what's sad you know what's really fucking sad you know you, i know there's a lot of parents who don't hear me when i say this shit right here you know what's really sad is when 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 parents are like babe go clean your room honey go clean your room baby clean your room did you clean your room what time did i tell you to clean your room can you clean your room Four hours later, did you clean your room? And then the parents gotta go, clean your fucking room! And then the kids are like, <laughs> that's how I feel. That's how I fucking feel. <sighs> you know, and so many people. Oh, I know some are going to be watching this right now like she's angry. Yay. No, 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 bitch. It means, <laughs> it means like if I start crying right now, it's because I have not had no time to release. I've had no moments of fucking peace. We are running off of a bag and, and, and living out of a car. <laughs> and people think I'm fucking with them. <laughs> Fuck. We, we, we. 
I have a lot of patience. I got too much patience for that fucking matter. Too much. <laughs> Way too fucking much. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm trying to find my words. Y'all see me trying to find my words? You see me fucking trying to find my words? I'm really trying to find my words. I'm trying. I'm trying to be that big girl and find my words right now. Seven months. Seven months of this shit. You know, what blows my mind, once again, I do this all the time and because it's like I am <laughs> I, <laughs> I am being and you know I'm laughing because I'm trying my best not to lose all my fucking marbles <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying because you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Uh, okay. My thing is, my thing is, I'm going to give you the perfect, I'm going to give you a perfect example. I'm going to start some examples. I'm going to give you some fucking examples. Okay. My thing is, it starts, <laughs> it starts with one person. And I know and Lois Lane, she just broke this down for me. And so has my mother. But my mom was at this point where she's like, I know this bitch well. So <laughs> this shit doesn't bother me. I just tell her to calm her shit down. Like, I'm trying. I'm fucking trying, mom. But I just told my mom right now, that's it. That's it. Bought a video, anybody? Because I'm at this point where ugh, people are painful. People are painful. And you know what? If you are a victim and you are watching this shit and you blame me, you blame me, then you need to fucking listen. Because give me a second, give me a fucking second. Okay, Ivory, Ivory, Ivory starts with an H, whatever her name is, Ivory. Okay, we're gonna start with her. Ivory is a Fox News reporter. Ivory outed some shit I know everybody knows about, right? With Fox News, okay? Ivory, Ivory was, she said, fuck it. There is some things that people need to know. I can continue to hold my shit together, but then no one would know what the fuck is going on with Fox News, right? No one, no one. It's been going on for decades. Everybody knows they lying to you. Everybody knows that. You're fucking skippy they're lying to you, duh. Duh, they lying to you, right? Everybody knows that shit. Okay, that's a duh, right? But the fact is, is that Ivory stood up and said, I'm done. No fucking more. Whatever that means, no more. I'm not going to play with this shit anymore. I can't put up with this shit anymore. I can't take the fucking lies anymore. Right? That's what she said. That's what she did. That's what she said. Okay? So what she did was say, fuck it. She said some shit and made people go, uh-oh. Now, I already knew some things. Were, this is my interpretation of these people. I already knew some show, shit was going on with Fox News. I already knew they were fucking lying to me. I already knew that. But Ivory just said something. So now everybody's running to see the story. And again, no one is listening. <laughs> But the fact is, everybody like, I knew something was going on. I knew something wasn't right. I knew Fox was lying to our asses. I knew they were keeping shit from us. I knew that. So why the fuck did it take everybody so long to wake the fuck up? Why is it? Why is it that this woman had to risk her life? 
And why is it that we had to go to dramatics? Why is it that we had to get on the news? Because that's the only way a lot of people will wake the fuck up is when you get on the news and say something. Why is it that we had to get there before people can say something? No, no, no. Okay, let me help you out. I went somewhere yesterday. I went somewhere yesterday and I fucking tried. <laughs> Lord knows I tried. Cause I was like, I just want two seconds. I just want two seconds to feel like shit doesn't exist. I want two seconds to get out of my head. You know, people really think that this shit is easy. It's not like <laughs> we are living out of our car. Like people are hunting and stalking and harassing our asses. People want to kill us. I get death threats like every few minutes. We have been through shit since I was a baby. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> two, two seconds would have been nice. Two, just two. Two to breathe, okay? Two. But I didn't get that because I ran into a person that said, we have to get the mask on and in two weeks, Biden is going to save us all. <laughs> It took me out the game so much I had to, <laughs> I had to just walk out. I just walked out of the building and I was like, wait a minute. Biden's going to save us all. Biden can't even look at his own fucking cue cards. Jill can't even keep his shit in check. This motherfucker couldn't even tie his own shoes if he wanted to. And y'all think that he's going to save your ass. <sighs> we went into a situation where if we get found out where we are right now, it's because... We were trying to take two seconds, two fucking seconds to just walk down the street and act like shit didn't matter. Two seconds with another angel to, <laughs> to act like shit didn't matter. Shit didn't matter. Okay. And we walked down the street, five motorcyclists, five fucking motorcyclists swarmed one woman's car. One woman, you know what we did? There was four of us, you know what we did? Everybody in the street yelling at these motherfuckers and there's everybody on the sidewalk. Just stopping to... Didn't do shit. There's five motorcyclists, five motorcyclists surrounding one woman's car, acting fucking psycho with her. Cause they swore she hit him and, and, and then think even if she did, the fucking point is there's five of you men on motorcycles and there's one woman in her car. The place is crowded like an outside mall. We're walking around. I got two. I'm, I'm literally hitting an angel. I was like, angel, angel, angel. I feel good right now. <laughs> this has been peaceful. This is great. And then I hear motorcycles revving and I said, oh shit, what's that? Why are they being dicks? They overcompensated for something because why they got to rev so hard? What's going on? What's going on? The fuck is going on, right? And 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 then we get in we we get in the street and everybody's yelling at this one woman. You know what all of all four of us did? My mom is already in the middle of the street. Knock your shit off. <laughs> we already in the middle of the street. Like who wanna fucking go? You are not gonna surround this woman's car. You know what everybody did? Everybody, everybody mm -hmm. did in the middle of a very packed out outside mall. You know what they did? With kids. It was four of us. So it turned into five women against five men. Okay. I'm not fucking with you. If this video comes out, <laughs> you'll know where we are. But they turned into five women against five men. Okay. We we fixed it it took us to fucking i still got the license plate number because i jumped in front of motorcyclists and was like don't be a fucking dickhead if you're gonna she hit and run i don't give a fuck what she did you're not gonna surround her fucking car and put on a show for the people that stand in here there's fucking babies out here watching this shit if you want to put her ass in jail you want to call the police on her you want to do something about it do something about it but you're not gonna stand here and be a fucking dick to society and let everybody watch what the fuck you're doing that's why we got the society we got right now move your ass they did. You know what I did? After they moved their ass, I turned around and started yelling at everybody on the sidewalk. 
I turned around and started yelling at everybody on the sidewalk, including the children. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You know, this is the reason why we in a society you in. Nobody pulled out a motherfucking phone. Nobody said shit. Nobody moved. We standing out here in the middle of the street with five dudes. There's dudes surrounding our asses on the sidewalk. They not doing shit. They just standing there. They didn't even take a phone out to, they just standing there. You know what me and an angel did? Me and an angel started going off on everybody on the fucking sidewalk. Everybody on the sidewalk. I said, oh, we just robots. We're going to follow the COVID pandemic sign. We know which way to go down the aisle, but we won't even fucking do shit when somebody needs our help. That's the society we live in. It came out today. I just posted a video and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get shit for this one too. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Bring your shit because I already got enough. <laughs> but we're going to get shit for this one too. Craig Salmon Sawyer is corrupt. Vets for Child Rescue that is out of Arizona is corrupt. I don't know how many fucking times I done told y'all stop tagging this man as well as Tim Ballard. As well as Tim Tebow on my shit. Y'all gonna soon find out what the fuck he's up. They're all up to. I don't. What military man needs to run to another country to fix what's in their backyard? How many times I gotta tell y'all shit up? What, 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 what y'all wanna know? Because the thing is, is there's some people who's like, <laughs> you know what? I think my major thing is, my major thing, my major fucking thing is, is that. There's victims that sit on here and they call me a liar. And they, not need, no, 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 not a liar, not a liar. They don't call me a liar. They don't call me a liar. They call me a liar because they think I took their money. They call me a liar because they think I took their fucking money. I wasn't, see, I've been trafficked since a fucking newborn. There are CPS reports that someone used to dress me up and put me on the streets of San Bernardino since I was five. And you called them the motherfucking outlaws. You know what they said? Let me just fucking go here. We just gonna go here. We just gonna fucking do it. We just gonna go here. The Panthers. The black fucking Panthers. People are like, tell me the story. Tell me what else happened. I think people have legitimately been between my fucking legs. I have told some shit that I never even thought I would be able to put the words together to say out fucking loud and still nothing. Nothing. If we die today, if you had my bloody body, I'm pretty sure some shit would get moving. I'm pretty sure that if somebody had my bloody fucking body, if somebody had the shit that they needed to have to be like, she's dead. So now why don't we do the things in her honor? Why can't you do it when I'm standing right here? <laughs> I made it out. I made it out. I'm done. <laughs> I made the choice to say something is not right at 12 years old. I made it out. I'm still right here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that don't matter. My black life don't fucking matter. People want to get started on BLM. And people want to get started on, on the COVID pandemic. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then people in the vaccine. Huh, huh. You think all Fox is lying to you about is your weather? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> people ask me. All the time, like, what, what can we do? What can we do? I said, <laughs> stickers, get out and cross a puddle and make a march. Even if you stand out there by your fucking self, make sure a victim sees your ass. There's been so many victims that have came to me and said, 
How the fuck am I supposed to leave? Do you think that you're enticing me to leave? When you, at least the shit that's going on in this life is fucking predictable. You want me to leave. You want me to speak up and join you. You want me to say something. But the people that swear up and down that they for you won't even get up and move. <laughs> people can't even go to a march. People can't even go to a fucking march in their area. All you gotta do is get in the car. All you gotta do is get in the car. You see how nobody would do that shit? You see how nobody gonna do that shit? <laughs> that's too much that's too much <laughs> and, and there's a lot of people that's like well I can't hear anything until it's on the news I'm like everybody write the news everybody that's a lot of work <laughs> if I said I was about to out some names if I said I was about to tell y'all another one of my rape stories if I said I was about to get brutal down and dirty I'd have so many people out here listening it's not even funny but when I say let's find resolutions everybody like Crickets. And then, and then I got victims who sit on my shit, who threaten me and wish that I wasn't breathing, who tell me that they wish that I could be put on a sex machine and that bitch be turned on until I stop breathing. There's a lot of people who tell me that shit just because they're like, what the fuck are you doing? You got all these followers. You got all these people. You think you're famous. I don't think I'm shit. Do you see what I've been saying this entire time? I don't want this shit. <laughs> I got gifts that I have that I don't fucking want. Never did. But you got truth tellers who got regular podcasts who are trying to embrace this shit and find money for it. And look over here and survivor dating shows. <laughs> I've been on this floor in pain. I've been crying and fucking screaming. I have laughed. I have yelled. I have fought. I will. <laughs> I keep saying, keep standing, Allison. Keep. Oh, that shit hurt. Keep standing, Allison. Oh, that shit's bad. Keep standing, Allison. Another death threat. Keep standing, Allison. You don't even know what I'm going through. Keep standing, Allison. And somebody else is like, you're a fraud. Keep standing, Allison. And there's no more of a fraud. you just a honeypot. Keep standing, Allison. And nobody want to talk about the children. You want to get on me. <laughs> and then you know what happens? Allison is tired. <laughs> I am at this point where I'm like, flag on the plate. Flag on the fucking plate. <laughs> Time to fuck out. There is 50% of the world that believes Biden is going to save us all. You know what happened before I started a bonnet video? You know why? You know why y'all met me? You want to know fucking why? It's because I pulled an ivory and I got fucking mad. <laughs> I got irritated. Then there's some people trying to tell me the night of the election, you don't even know what's going on. You don't want to know what I do know what's going on? I knew from the start, and even my whole fucking family knew. I told them Trump is not getting in. This election is rigged. Biden will be in for six months until he magically disappears and Kamala steps up in his place. There's supposed to be a trinity that goes in with Hillary, Kamala, and, 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 and. What's that other broad? What's the other broad? Help me. Michelle. Michelle. It's not even a broad. Jesus. <laughs> Michael. There was supposed to be a trinity that walks in to office. And it, it, it's sad because it's like, who, 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 who doesn't get that? Look around you. Look a fucking round you. The world is falling the fuck apart. People don't believe that there's witches, witchcraft and shit flying around. But I'm, I, people are crucifying me. Because I told you, if you don't believe me, look on TikTok. <laughs> I told y'all several times, stop, 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 stop. stop. Stop tagging Craig Sawyer. Stop tagging certain names. I'm backing the fuck away from certain people. Stop tagging their asses. There's a fucking reason for it. 
and a lot of the things it's like okay well i know some of your story but i don't know all of it the problem is is i've been putting out a lot of shit i've been putting out a lot of shit and nobody is moving with the shit that they got so it's like i can put out the most hysteric bloody shit ever but you'll feel better and i will be worse and there will be a bigger target on my back and the thing is, is nobody is happy until we're dead I could put up the comment where somebody said, I don't know why you're still breathing. I could have said the same thing back, but I didn't. Because what do people call me when I say mean? If I defend myself, I'm mean. Do people. I got victims that are messaging me. I'm going to post one of their pictures. I'm going to post one of their pictures and I'll blur their face out. She's bloody and she's on top of a horse and she's naked. Trigger warning. <laughs> she's bloody and she plays in blood and guess what? She's holding the hand of her baby recruit. Who's going to help her? Who's going to help her? Because I got 54,000 followers. <laughs> and is that bullshit? Is that bullshit? I got 54,000 followers. 54,000 on one page alone. I got over 5,000 on one of my other pages. I got over 22,000 on my other pages. Numbers don't mean shit. Do you hear me now? <laughs> Do you hear me? If you're watching this video, you're so mad at me thinking I took your money. What money? I can't even buy a matching bathing suit from Target. What money? <laughs> what fucking money? <laughs> what money? <laughs> I was a very expensive hoe. My price was sometimes $1,700 an hour, minimum. Depending on where the fuck I was going. It started at $1,700 minimum. I was auctioned for millions of dollars to Russia. They needed money counters and suitcases to fly me and the money out. When do people become property? When? I know Obama knows when people become a property because he pays $65,000 worth of hot dogs and pizza. Pizza! My pimp worked into elite trafficking. So he was one of those grunges. He was one of those, he was one on the bottom. He was one on the bottom, okay? And then one day he moved up. Keith, I was going to Carter High School in Fontana, California when someone sold my ass to Russia for billions of dollars. Huh? Millions. Did I say billions? Millions, I am. Can't even fucking talk right, cause where's my drink? <laughs> Carter High School. Carter. Carter. My counselors knew. My teachers knew. The SRO of the school knew. Sixty-five thousand dollars worth of hot dogs and pizza, and y'all wondering why I know all I know. Three o'clock in the morning. I 
tell you the pizza wasn't for Obama, Brock. But that doesn't matter though. Why does it matter? You know, because if I could, if I tell you another story, if I tell you another bloody, dramatic, gory story, if another insurance video gets released, if more comes out, then what? You know, people rallied over BLM like nobody's business. People hit the streets and didn't stop for a whole fucking summer. People took down a whole fucking police department, twerked and fucking jumped on cars and set that shit on fire. I'm pissed off. I haven't been able, uh, and and I don't, not at one, not at one point, have I taken out the windows of T-Mobile, Kmart, Target. Not at one point did I fuck up a police car because of the whole police force and everybody else that has raped me as a child, that took me uh, on, on, on 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 a Marino Beach Drive in Marino Valley, California, and 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 parked their cars the opposite way. No one. I didn't get to burn shit down. I haven't got any damn reparations for the shit that's been done to me. There's no store that bowed down to human trafficking slavery month. No store bowed down and made clothes and, 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 and put up human trafficking slavery on t-shirts and make sure that there was some in every fucking size, children, men, and women. No one, no, 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 no one cares like that for trafficked children. Everybody's too fucking scared. Their fear takes over. Everybody's too fucking scared to do something. The people that rallied for BLM, they weren't scared. The world that now bows down to black people wasn't scared. People won't try me sometimes because the color of my skin. If I walk into a place, but they'll sure as hell try my mama because she white. But that was because BLM rallied. BLM rallied and got the whole world together to set the whole fucking world on fire for a convict that screamed out, Mama. Did you know the one that screamed out, Mama, had a had, was a pedophile? Did you know George Floyd was a fucking pedophile who has porn videos up, who has a porn video with some girl who looks exactly like his daughter? Same hairstyle, same everything. But the whole world rallied over some fool who called out, Mama. The whole world got t-shirts over some fool who cried out, Mama. Mm -hmm. The whole world is pissed and not another, not another black man say his name over some fool who called out mama. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody gives a damn about the children who are strapped to every fucking thing known to man who are calling out mom, help, stop, leave me alone, take it out, it hurts. No, 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 there's no rally for that shit. <sighs> if you are sitting here watching this right now and you're like, that's why I won't leave. I didn't <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You ask me all the time, what is supposed to happen? How is this happening? I'm telling you right fucking now. And I don't know how else to say this shit. We have been living out a bag like I have been since I was five. Do you know how many times I moved as a kid? I just want some fucking peace. I don't want no fame. I don't want no money. I just want some peace. <laughs> I don't want the shit that they did to me. Someone else can have it. Give it to Jesse. I don't fucking care. You can take that shit. I don't want it. Nobody hears that shit. Everybody still... Oh, she's a celebrity. I'm not a fucking celebrity. I'm trying to tell you the truth before we die. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, y'all don't understand what happens when these cameras go off. <laughs> oh. 
People are just learning about witchcraft. People are just learning what the fuck that means. People are just learning that witchcraft is fucking real. And I can't tell you how many times I army crawl on this floor because someone has a voodoo doll in my name because I'm telling y'all the truth. My truth and the truth. But no, don't do that shit. <laughs> and I know from this video, from taking this video in a place that we're staying out, we're going to have to fucking move. Why? Not because we scared, because we outnumbered. If I go back, they will rape me and I will cry for my mama and nobody will come for me again. If I go back, there has been multiple threats that they will tie me to a machine and they won't turn that bitch off. <sighs> All I asked was for people to wake the fuck up. I'm getting fucking tired now. I can't do this shit no more. Like, I don't even know how. Like, I don't even, what do you do the, the, the whole, I can't do this shit no more. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that means either so if you're sitting here like what does that mean i don't fucking know <laughs> we tried to just leave the house just leave the house and just go to <laughs> go somewhere like nobody even knew what the fuck that meant i grabbed two pairs of sweats a t-shirt that says friends on it and i brought that one rugrat shirt from a walmart we ran into that we had to run out because i'm screaming at risen patriots to turn the fucking car around from telling on the obama administration to trap us at florida miralago fucking island <sighs> oh And I'm like still laughing. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm laughing. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because <laughs> I can't completely lose my shit. Because there's some people who are like, bitch, you promised. <laughs> you fucking promised. <laughs> bitch, if you're watching this and you think I fucking promised, I'm running out of fucking patience <laughs> i am running out of shit we have traveled all around the fucking states <laughs> there's no fucking more to pray about <laughs> i can't even pray about it i'm tired <laughs> and the only people the only way people hear me is when i'm like this <laughs> Cause I'm laughing and I'm like, I'm strong. I'm still fucking strong right now, but my ass is tired. <laughs> and I'm fuck, like I've been like praying and praying and praying and I'm like, God, do something. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I can understand cause you know, Lois Lane was like, listen, Listen, God used Moses to do something. God used Noah to do something. I don't know why he used me. I'm not the person to do something. I'm just over here trying to tell my truth. I went viral because people are like, oh, she crazy. She going off. She going off again. But at least what she's saying is true. Something resonated with you. Even if you fucking hate me and you send me a death threat every day, something fucking resonated with your ass. I'm so, I got so much more, but I'm like, <laughs> and then people find shit and they wake up or they get receipts to shit <laughs> and they're like, <coughs> Allie did tell the truth. Oh, Allie did say that was God. Wow, Allie was. <sighs> no shit, Sherlock! <laughs> listen, 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 listen. All I want is some peace. And all I want 
is some to you, you know, there's some people who's like, I don't want out. Fine. 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 Fucking fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fine. <laughs> fine. There's some people, I don't want out. Fucking fine. But I knew how brainwashed my ass was. <laughs> I knew how I was when I was in the life. It didn't matter what the fuck somebody else said. It mattered what somebody told me. It didn't matter what I thought. It mattered what someone told me until 12 years old when I was like, that's it. <laughs> that's it. You're done. Like, <laughs> I am not your sex doll anymore. And I can't be your punching bag either. Now I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong for saying I can't be your sex doll anymore. I'm in the wrong for saying I won't be your punch bag anymore. I'm the one in the wrong for saying you shouldn't be taking my blood and everybody else's blood to use. I'm in the wrong. Everybody's waking up like, you know, the thing is, is it's like, why? <laughs> There's so many people who are very smart and intelligent people, very intelligent people, but they act like they're stupid. It's the same ones who went and took the fucking jab and their family of yours that are very smart. You have burned it in their brain. You have explained it to them. You showed them the countless articles that have came through that has said this shit is killing people. It's population control. Yes, Fauci was lying. Yes. Oh, Bam Bam went to the Wuhan lab and paid $5 million to study a virus while he was still in office. Yes, everyone knows that shit. But is anybody going to do anything about it? No one will talk about trafficking. Why? It's not like the shit ain't true. <laughs> and hold the fuck on. It's not like, it's not like you don't get an article every fucking other day that 30 children were saved here. 150 were saved there. I could post the newest one in my story. It's not like it's not an issue that's going on 24-7. You, you, you think your news channels are lying to you about the fucking weather? Yes, they lie to you about the weather, but there's more shit. Look up Hark. Of course they lie to you about the weather. There's a name for it. There's a fucking name for it. There shouldn't even be a name for traffic. Because you know on the freeway, you're on the freeway, when there's the traffic slows down and you're sitting in non-stop traffic, you, you don't know why you're always sitting in traffic and everybody knows this. It's because someone's being fucking nosy. It has nothing to do with cars. It's because someone is driving in their car and they're like, oh, we're slowing down. Oh, there's an accident. I want to see if someone's dead. Oh, that looks bad. Oh my, wow, did you see the back caught on fire? Oh, well, since I'm past it, I guess I'll go. And then, you know, the other cars that have been sitting there for fucking hours, by the time they get their... Two, then there's no more fucking traffic. It just goes. Why? There shouldn't even be a name for traffic. Y'all know that, right? There shouldn't even be a fucking name for traffic because it doesn't exist. It's called people being nosy. And that's all people want to do is just be nosy. You can put it in front of them, but people are so scared to do something. You know, there's been situations where a traffic situation stops. There's a traffic situation stop. Something fell into the street and everybody's pissed because they're like, oh my God, you guys are taking so fucking long. Oh my God, what the hell happened? But there's shit in the middle of the street and nobody's jumping out of the car to help the person get the fuck out of the street so that everybody else can move. Are they? No. No. Everybody just...
shed. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and there's some victims that go off on me. Like, you know, if you're going through all this shit, how do you expect me to leave when you got all these followers? Somebody said, what's funny? You know what's funny? People. Because there's victims that are like, <sighs> you have all these followers. <laughs> you have all these people that swear up and down they would do anything for the children. How they're pissed off. How they've seen that kid be being beat and hung from the ceiling. How they've seen insurance videos drop from you and they're like, never mind, I don't want to see no more. Some of them. The, how there's some of them who are like, I'm here for you. I'm, and there's thousands of you all over the world. Can you imagine what would happen is if everybody stood up at the same time and said enough's enough? <laughs> There's too many of them. There's too many. Cappy didn't have 90s. Do you understand that? Me and Cappy lived in Apple Valley. Isaac Cappy lived in Apple Valley. Isaac Cappy didn't have 90s. Isaac Cappy didn't have help. Before the man died, though, he asked, for people to just come sit with him, for people to buffer for him, for people to sit there and just be a fucking witness. The man didn't want no money. <sighs> he didn't want no money. He just said, can y'all come, can, 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 can come over here? Because you won't believe the shit that I'm going through. Who talked shit on him? Craig fucking Sawyer. Who talked shit on Timothy Homestead? Craig fucking Sawyer. Who's best friends with somebody else? Craig fucking Sawyer. Why you think we just are backing up? But what does it take? It takes an article to come out. What does it take? It takes the news. What does it take for some people? I can't hear it because I can't imagine it. And the only way that I'm listening is if it's on the news. So now I said, y'all, we the people gotta fucking do something people have been out for years there's survivors and truth tellers that have been out for years that have platforms beyond platforms but have they fucking used them anybody have they used them someone always whoo Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cappy didn't have 90s. If Isaac Cappy had some 90s, he probably would still be here to tell you the truth. Cappy didn't have anybody protecting him. The list goes on with the people like that. You know that, right? Any of, you know, Clinton's best friends, they get killed. All of a sudden, someone's committed suicide after they got there for the witness trial. Next thing you know, they're dead. And somebody's like, how come you're not dead yet? Because there's too many eyes on me. But eventually, what stops people like the Black Panthers? There's too many questions that will be raised if this Black chick dies. So some shit has kind of been slowed down, but you, I've been, everybody's still been proving my point. Because if I was lying to you, why am I going through all this hell, getting pulled over from state to state by cops who don't even make no fucking sense? But you got BLM that's rallied around that does crazy shit. And when the cops are called, they just. <laughs> but for me, they want to shoot the shit. For me, they want to know where my car is. For me, they want to know where we're headed. For me, they want to know how much money we got. For me, they chase our asses down from state to state. For me, they pulled over my Telegram admin. For me, they went to my aunts, my nephews, my family's homes. For me, they sent out private and fake FBI investigators. 
But you know the ones that are at the BLM rallies, when all kind of hell is fucking breaking loose, they just standing there. Is that the same cops? Somebody want to talk about defund the police? How about you defund our public education system? Because that's not helping. That's not fucking helping. Everybody think they fucking critical thinking and they're not doing shit because the college taught you that. The schools taught you that. Defund public education. What are they teaching your kids in school? What do you think they've been teaching you all, teaching them all this time? Why do you think your children come home fucking disagreeing with you and thinking you the crazy one? Why can't you help your child with their math? Let me let you know something. All roads lead to trafficking. If you haven't yet found out. But that's not something that anyone is willing to talk about. Because that means that everybody got to get out of denial. Out of denial for their own shit. When you, gotta re when you have to realize what the fuck is going on in your world, you have to realize what the fuck happened to you. And you can't be in denial about it anymore. You got to do something. So the people who don't want to be in denial, who, the people who would rather be in denial, they I, I don't see that. If it's not on the news, I don't even know anything about it. Yes, I know that the whole world is, is, is crashing, but I don't want to look. I'm going to put my mask on. Those are the people in the denial. Now the smart ones who are very fucking smart, but they need a, those, those are very fucking smart. Unfortunately, they need the news to tell them. And unfortunately, those people don't realize that the news signed a law to lie to your ass. They signed a law to only put you in fear. They signed a law to only make you run when they want you to run. They signed a law so when they say jump, you say how high. They signed a law to play on your intelligence and so did everybody fucking else and everybody else is doing what? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Yep, you're lying to me, but how much is it gonna take? Here you go. What you think your tax paying dollars are? CPS. CPS, Child Protective Services, Child Protective Services makes bank off of children. No one putting that shit out there. Amber Alert is a fucking lie. Amber Alert is a lie. If Amber Alert was real, it would be going off 24 seven because there's a child that goes missing every 30 seconds. How the fuck do they pick and choose? Who's gonna be on Amber Alert? Hmm? Everybody's like, well, I only get an Amber Alert once or twice a year. I only get an Amber Alert every few months. You should be getting an Amber Alert every few hours or every hour. Huh? Who's lying to you? Who runs Amber? Look it up. Look it up. Here's an interactive point. Look up who owns Amber Alert. Look up who owns Amber Alert. And then look who I just put in my story. And then can keep connecting the dots. There's people who want me dead because I don't even remember that you raped me as a child. There are people who, when I used to work at Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor in Riverside, California, used to come into my job and sit there and tell me, you look so beautiful all grown up. And I'm standing there like, did you want the special garlic fry mountain or did you just want to take some water today? Is everything okay? thought my mom was my girlfriend <laughs> people thought my mom wasn't really my mother I had to drop my adoption papers for people to be like holy shit she is adopted what else do you think I'm telling you that's true just because I'm white 
or just because I'm white. She's white and I'm black. Does no, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's my mom. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, ain't she? She looks like my twin. I know I get her. I got her nose. <sighs> what will it take? I feel like even if somebody drops one of my rape videos, mm -hmm. porn, one of my rape videos, people would still be like, yep, that's Ali. Yep, she's being abused. Yep. Someone did stop her from having children by raping her with the things that they did. Yep, there was blood everywhere. She wasn't lying about that. Yep, someone did die. Yep, that is true. Yep, it was hours with some people, like, completely gang raping. Yep, that is true. Huh. Sad. Poor baby. Moving on. That's how it feels. Mm -hmm. And people wonder why y'all don't hear from other survivors. Y'all know you don't hear from other survivors because they're like, at least the shit that happens to me in the life is fucking predictable. This shit right here is not predictable. And they pissed at me. <laughs> you pissed at me. And you think I took your money. Mm -hmm. What the f <clears throat> that? <sighs> money. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm just rolling and what fucking dough that's invisible is beyond me I'm rolling in that shit I can't even be in the same place <laughs> we rolling in that shit I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's victims who are like, so what am I supposed to do? Hear me when I say this closely. I don't know. But I made a choice. And I said I want out. And even though I'm free, but I don't have freedom, I got free from that shit. If you called me, if there was a child victim that called me right now, just understand that I'll come get you. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I will st I will come get you. If you want out, I will make a way to fucking have somebody come get you. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I fucking got. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else to fucking shake people. I am trying my fucking best and even that's not enough. I am working on it. I promise you that. But if you call me, I will make a fucking way. That's all I got. That's all I fucking got. <laughs> Do something, please. 